We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancient dead. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrit. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. You should have learned to enjoy it. Benita Odoremus et Ada Talatam. Eivor! You fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herifrid may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order, but the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. Hunwald was not fit to don his father's boots, but he can bring joy to the people here. Treat him well. Yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. Bonded now, your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask? Well, could we live with your clan? Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her, and to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. This means... It means the world to me. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Guttrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. 
As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My y'all... I'm... Sorry! You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Stay around a while and judge for yourself. Oh, I will. Have no fear of that. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. <laughs> <laughs> 